Hello everyone, good morning, um, sorry it's been a while since I posted a video on any of my cars, Jeep or the Volvo, it's, I'm just been pretty busy, family stuff. So today I just wanted to make a video, not a long one, a pretty quick one on just the, on my current build on, on the Jeep, uh, what it cost me so far, uh, labor parts. Uh, that it cost me a lot of the stuff I did myself, so I'm not gonna count the labor that I did So if you guys are gonna have some of the things the shop do it might cost a little more here and there But I'm just gonna tell you exactly what it cost me to pay out of pocket So um, I'll give an update on that and then also some future plans what I'm planning to do on this vehicle um, I'm not planning to do much more but still a few things here and there uh, That I want to get done on this car so yeah let's get into the video all right let's start with the arrow bull bar this guy right here areas not arrow areas bull bar that cost me 170 dollars um the green diesel engineering tune the ecu right here cost me they had a discount like 13 percent towards the end of the year so i got it for 805 total for that tune I had options the off-road tune and then the engine braking or turbo braking or whatever they call it and then uh, flow pro exhaust the pipes that go from the turbo all the way out to the cat back those cost me two hundred and ten dollars the grill inserts these right here they were chrome originally right here I uh, ordered new ones uh, they cost me 50 bucks for all the whole set. I know they're at the dealership. They're like $270 for the OEM ones So that's that was a money saver right there um, Wheels and tires package is 20s tires 275 55 20s tires uh, I got these before the lift so they're a little bit smaller. I couldn't get any bigger because they would rub uh, so yeah I could have ran a lot thicker, but oh well, we'll get them next time once these wear out. And then let's see here, those were $2,000 for the wheels and tires, I don't know if I said that or not, but k and intake right here, and then charge pipe right here. With the increased boost after the tune, I noticed that the, the pipe or the hose right here, those silicone hose right, like that right here, when the you would stomp on the gas it would kind of collapse so that's a good upgrade and then the, also there was a silencer right here uh, in the old pipe inside uh, for the turbo noise so once you take they would switch this out you will hear not a lot more turbo noise on that so it's pretty cool um, old man emu lift kit that I have right down there so shocks, struts, all around and upper control arms from Rocky Road Outfitters, I paid $1,300. And then also, for the labor to install that, I paid uh, $400. So total came out with everything, uh, $5,329. That's approximate. That's, uh, I installed the ECU myself, the computer. I swapped out myself the pipes. I swapped out myself um the intake and stuff i had installed myself those are pretty easy things that you can do it by yourself um, the only thing that was challenging was the pipes pretty much those took me about one and a half to two hours i mean i I'd fixed cars for a while so it would be a lot harder for somebody that never really done anything like that the getting the dpf the diesel particulate filter out was the most challenging part the catalytic converter wasn't that hard uh so yeah so far that's that's all the upgrades I have and that's what it cost me. Future plans. Let's see here. Alright. Right here, this bad boy. That's what I'm trying to get rid of. This EGR cooler. That's an EGR right here that goes into the cooler. Uh, I was just gonna get the block off plates for right here for the intake here and here 
but I heard people say that they had issues with the cooler leaking internally and leaking out of the exhaust. So just to eliminate everything, all the headache, I mean, the major part is these right here. So if you can't afford the, the kit, I think it's uh, a FCP Automotive. Online they have the whole kit to delete the whole cooler or you can just buy the plates for here for the intake. The major one is for the intake. You don't want any coolant in the intake. I mean, you don't want any in the exhaust, but intake is a major one. If you get into the intake, you could end up losing your engine. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna get that thing, the kit, the full removal kit, block off all the holes, delete this whole unit out of here. So maybe if I do a, a turbo upgrade, there's gonna be more room here. So yeah, that's gonna get done. Uh, possibly maybe an intake manifold. I heard that uh, some company makes an intake manifold for this, it increases a lot more power. So I might look into that. Uh, and then the tow, tow, tow hook in the back, got it, get it, that installed. Oh man, how does this go in? There you go. So I might get a tow package added to this to this car and then get dealer to program it so it works. And then after that I think that's it. Well, who knows? <laughs> I say that's it for now, but as time passes I find more and more things I want to do to this vehicle. So yeah. I'll keep you guys posted and uh, see you next time. Ciao.